Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be discussing a project I finished recently and it's something I was working on this past month and it's my first bug collection. It's Coleopterans aka Beetles. Now first off, catching bugs to kill them, to preserve them and collect them is something controversial but it's something for science, entomology, studying insects and other bugs. But it can be, yeah, it can be troublesome if it's a species in if it's an endangered species. And but what you could do in that situation is to raise an insect and make it breed. And if it dies, you then collect it. You then pin it and make a collection out of your dead pet insect. Now, here we have my first and only bug collection I have right now, which these are coleopterans. These are beetles, longhorn beetles, blister beetles, scarab beetles, and rhino beetles. Now to take a better look, here it is, opened up, my beetle collection. And these are some that I found dead and some that I preserved in the freezer. And first off, my favorite one, this one, this mango stem borer. This one is a beetle that came from Asia and the mango trees were imported to Israel and then imported to America and it became sort of an invasive species to mango trees and others and it's pretty big one of my favorites I found it dead in a drain down in my house um, now for the aposematic looking blister beetle which alerts us predators with its coloring because this beetle, blister beetles, usually secrete a chemical called cantharidin and it can irritate your skin by contact or your eyes and mouth. Right next to it, there's this scarab beetle, a may beetle or yum bug. These beetles are the ones that I've always feared when little but I overcame it. And yeah, they usually, they mostly come out in May or June. Now this click beetle, Chocolapedia silvermani, is the last beetle I found for this collection. And it was, it was found in the daylight, which is pretty uncommon for these. They're pretty much nocturnal. Now click beetles, they are very known for that name that they have is because when they go upside down they do a strong click and they bounce through the air to stand up in their feet again now for the other longhorn beetles these were found alive and I captured them to preserve them this is a Chlorida festiva a pretty colorful green and orange longhorn beetle Eburia quadrimaculata, a very small one, and uh, Stenodontus exertus. This one it seems like it can peck quite a bite, but I haven't tested that. And it's pretty big too. It's really pretty big. Now for these big boys, these are rhinoceros beetles. This is a male, and this is a female. These are Strategus of Lungus, the same species, both of them. And this one I captured it in July 2018, and this one uh, a couple of weeks ago. And this one has been through a lot. This specimen has been damaged a lot. But yeah, that's, that's my collection. And I love it a lot. So that'll be it for today. I also did some studies on the insects I collected, like this is the blister beetle, Cecitis maculata, and I also study herpetology, which is reptiles and amphibians, 
and other stuff. I really love animals and I want to show the world what I do and how I admire it. So yeah, I'll be trying to make another video next week and so long.